Lauren. Hello. What's going on? We're here in Liverpool in the heart of You're garden. You're talking way too quiet for not having marks. Also Mics. for not for not telling the truth. Um, hi. We're here in our new garden and we haven't finished clearing the blackberries, but we've made good progress. Have we? Yes. Yeah. We and have. we're going to test out the soil. Yeah. What's Break it like? Through the sod under this grass. We oh, wanna, that's not too bad. We want to see what we're dealing with here. So, definitely some clay, but it doesn't seem too hard, um, and uh, it's a nice rich color. Uh, kind of sounds like you're BSing. Yeah, I mean, I know stuff's grown <laughs> back here before, so I know it's decent soil. We'll yeah. probably add a lot of organic matter, because that's always a good idea. Also, um, there's lots of uh, you coals and ash you and apples. You can't tell it's clay, though, because when you squeeze it together, it looks kind of like a turd. <laughs> uh, it's and also it's very wet right now. It sticks to itself. If it, if, if it was dry, it wouldn't do that. But yeah. it's, you know, you can kind of roll yeah. it into a ball, practically. So. Agnes, come here! Come here! What are you doing? She's not very happy. There's blackberries everywhere. It's boring. It's cold. Dog's worst nightmare. Yeah, we gotta check the soil in different spots. Who knows what's going on? Here's where blackberries have been growing. It's the best way to get out blackberries if you have the time for it is to uh, dig out the crown. Yeah. Which is this kind of knobbly. Yeah. You don't, bit with roots. It's you don't like a have cluster. to get every root, but you have to get the place where the stems are coming out of the roots. Yep. And under it. Yep. So right. But right if there. you cut, you know, the roots out, like you don't need to get the whole roots. You just need to yeah. get this place. But you leave any part of this, you'll have more you, blackberries. They'll come back every time. They also will grow from living vines that arc over. Yes. If they f if they come over to the ground, they'll the end will plant again and make another one. And they'll come from seeds. Yeah. But the ones from seeds are easiest to pull out um, if you get them the first year because they don't have a really well established crown. They'll come out they like don't a really weed. They have the like root stock. Yep. So. So same soil over here doesn't look any different. Let's go over. Uh, I don't know by the apple tree or something. Pretty heavy sod here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go farther down just to see. Oh, nice. I feel like that's a good color. Yeah, it's nice and deep, chocolatey. Ooh, worms! Ooh, worms. worms are a good sign. Good sign. Three Great worms sign. in one shovelful. Nutrients plus the worms add more, and they help keep the soil from compacting. Yeah, keep it aerated. Can they hear anything we're saying? Yeah, Probably. I can up the volume when okay. I edit it. Ooh, hey, what's up? Hi. Oh, you see worms? Hi, what's going on? What are we going to do? Ah! I stepped in the hole. Sorry, I wasn't filming very well. Wow. I stepped on a blackberry and in a hole. Say that again, Lauren. We're not allowed to burn again until March 1. Yes. Um, and we'll have some blackberry branch piles to burn by then. So before March, we already do. When we're trying to plant peas and lettuces and stuff, we'll probably stick to the grassier areas. Hey, Lauren. Hey, April. Uh, what are we doing to get rid of the blackberries? Basically, we're lopping them off and raking them into piles, and then figuring out a plan later to deal with the roots. Yes. We're definitely we're doing some poison on the. You can dab killer on yeah. just the end. 
that way so you're that not you're spraying not spraying it. your soil, but it it will kill that one root. Yep. And then you can pull it out yeah. easily. Again, we try to uh, only grow food with organic methods. Sometimes when you are dealing with a non-native species, you gotta some get out form the big guns. Herbicide <laughs> can be helpful. Yeah. Hey. Although a lot of non-native species just don't respond to herbicides, which is why they're so invasive. So. Yep, it's not great. Anyway, we're dealing with it. So, but for now, just lopping it. Get the in bottom. there with the loppers. They're great for these old, mature stems because they're very um, kind of dry and crunchy, like a branch. Yeah. So loppers, you can just get in there and yeah. chop and them all down, is, and then these are arcing over the fence. We're also getting. We're gonna cut the top off. so that we can. Just rake this side away. A more manageable length, you know. Yep. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, sometimes you can kind of grab it with the whopper and just pull. So, hello. We did some some blackberries. There's still a lot left back there, but we did some. Do you think my hands over the mic? No. Okay, great. I think the mic is so we should talk over there. Uh, well, there's a symbol there. Whatever. We're really tech savvy. Yeah. Anyway. That's why we have a YouTube channel. Uh, Lauren's got the bloody mm -hmm. hands to prove that she did uh, the blackberries. War on the blackberries. Here, take this. Uh, we're gonna come back probably in a couple days. Yeah. It's gonna snow maybe next week. Oh, so. Yeah. yeah, it's kinda cold. It's been dry and cold. But so, it's not raining. It's not raining, which is nice, but it's not the most pleasant conditions. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Agnes, you're not even in the video. What do you have to say, Agnes? Uh, so anyways, we got to get our dog home. But if you want to know more about this journey, you should like, journey. comment, and subscribe. Yes, you should. Also, we were thinking, can I tell them about some of our plans for this garden? Are they secrets? I don't know what plans you're talking about. We're thinking about, about starting a oh, urban garden sure. based CSA, which stands for Community Supported Agriculture, where friends and family and viewers and others could buy a share of our garden harvest. It would yeah. be a pretty experimental one because we've never grown in this garden before. Yeah, but we know that it's been a productive garden in the past. Yeah, and we're good um, expert we, we're good at gardening. gardening. So if you think that we should do that, you should tell us. Tell us in the comments. And if you're local to where we live, which is in Oregon in the Willamette Valley, <laughs> and we won't tell you any more details, then you can contact us and say I would totally sign up for that. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, that's all from us today. Kind of a vlog style, like this is yeah. nice, casual, cash, keeping it cash. Mm. Give you a little update on the old garden. Update, folks. All right, bye. Yeah.